just wanted to watch a scary movie together, like sisters do. But that was a big mistake. Gonna watch this whole world burn. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Shira. And before I start off today's video, I just want to say thank you so, 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 so much for 20. I appreciate every single one of you guys who watch and show love to my videos. You guys are honestly the best. Now, in celebration of hitting 20k subs on YouTube, I have brought you guys a very special guest who you haven't seen in a really, 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 really long time. And this special guest is my little sister. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Natty. Alrighty, I'm super excited to film tonight's video because this is something I have never, ever, ever done before. And I can kind of speak for Maddie and also say that she has never done a video like this. Or have you? No. Have you have you done this behind no. my back or something? No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm super excited to film tonight's video, or I guess I should say we we are super excited to film tonight's video because we are doing something crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy, crazy? Crazy, crazy. <laughs> All right, well, if you haven't seen tonight's video, we are going to be watching Disney Plus at 3 a.m. Girl, that was my line. <laughs> <laughs> what she said, at 3 a.m. If you guys have seen one of my previous videos of watching Netflix at 3 a.m., you guys already know what we need. And if you haven't seen that video, if they haven't seen that video. Kinda crazy, go but you should definitely go watch that and it'll be right here. But if you did watch that video, you guys would know that the number one thing that we need before watching a movie is snacks. Snacks. And the second thing that we absolutely need for watching a movie is blinky. And it's a good thing we have both right here. So now that you guys know that we got our snacks and we have our comfy blankets, we are gonna head on over to my bed and I guess, mm, comfy. <laughs> comfy, exactly. We are gonna look for some Disney Plus movies. So as you guys can see, it is currently 3 a.m. in the morning, which you guys know it is the devil's hour and we are getting ready to throw on some Disney Plus and Madison, are you ready, girl? Heck yeah. But before we get started, I just wanna remind you guys that you will not just be watching our reaction of us watching Disney Plus at 3 a.m. because I will be sharing my screen just like I did the last time in my previous video where I watch Netflix at 3 a.m. Specifically because I want you guys to watch a video from my perspective and not from your own, which means that if anything bad or weird or paranormal happens, it will only happen to us and not to you guys at home. With that being said, let's get started and watch this movie. Alrighty, so right now we are just searching for the best movie to watch on Disney Plus at 3 a.m. right now, and we have a ton of options. Maddie, I, I swear you've seen majority of this of these movies that I'm looking at right now. We got The Lion King, we got What's Aladdin. You've literally seen every, almost every single movie the on here or whatever. Aladdin movie is so good, I love that. Is that movie. your favorite movie though? Yes. 100% your favorite? Yo, yes. guys, comment down below if Aladdin is your favorite movie, and we'll see how many people out there really like Aladdin, just like you. Because Aladdin has this really good song. Oh, so you like Aladdin because it has one good song. What song? Is it a whole new world? No. Nope. No? Mm -hmm. What song? It's when the genie sings it. When the genie sings? Ooh, yes, that is a good song. <laughs> guys, if you guys like When the Genie Sings and Aladdin, comment down below because Maddie and I definitely want to know. All right, so we're just going to keep scrolling through here. We gotta hold up. What is this movie right here? I don't know. It looks really, really creepy. That is 
super weird. Uh, I can't even tell what kind of movie it's gonna be, but I think we should try it out. Why not? It's a movie yeah. we haven't seen before, so we might as well just try it and see what's going on. Okay, are you ready? Okay, in three, two, one, go. This was once the happiest place in the world. Disneyland, a magical place of adventure for children and their parents alike. But that was there, and this is oh. love. What's happening? Oh my, my gosh! I plunged a serrated knife into my stomach, and I used my own guts as a noose. I discovered that happiness is a mask. Worn by this those is super creepy. In misery. <laughs> it's so there is no such thing as true happiness. What? I had to Heck? Oh my gosh, look at his eyes. Because that allowed me to become something more. Oh, Definitely don't tell mom that I let you watch this. For a reaper. Wait, now in death, I can kill all the false happiness. Okay, it's not that scary. I can make you all eyes. just as miserable watch as you were meant to be. <laughs> Have you considered oh the possibility God, look at him, look at him, look at him. that without happiness, uh -huh. you no. will know peace? No. Oh my when goodness. you're no longer trying to put on a facade, you can be yourself. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll kill you. Yo, what? Children, Did you hear what he just said? Neighbors? <laughs> I'll kill everyone. But I have to be the first. Kill people. Kill. kill people? So since when does Mickey Mouse ever kill anybody? Never. Burn? And he's gonna watch this whole world burn? Okay, I'm definitely getting freaked out from this movie. Bro, this is literally too much. Okay, that was super creepy, right? Yeah. What the heck did we just watch, Madison? I don't know. That was like some evil Mickey Mouse. It's I don't like some kind of short episode or something. I know. Is is Mickey is Mickey a ghost? Uh definitely not. But he is for sure evil. Cause that was not normal Mickey that we just saw how, right there. <laughs> how, how does Mickey become evil when he's so nice? Uh and like I his own like honestly can't even answer. And like that his question. own show or movie. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely not something I would watch ever again. Um, Me. I think I would totally rather watch a uh, cute Aurora. little Aurora, a cute little princess movie or something because Evil Aria Mickey Mouse is the not it. Again. Because this is creepy. This is creepy, you'd rather watch something else, I think yes. is what you're trying to say. Comment down below if you guys would rather watch something else because I know I would. It made, it made me so scared that I think I need a drink. <laughs> It made you so scared you needed to drink. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll okay. Great that. Okay, go ahead. Make some make some room for the girl. <laughs> okay, go get might as well get a drink for me too, okay, Maddie? Okay. Okay. I'll be Alrighty, so I guess while we wait for our drink, can I just make a side note that that video was just too much. Way too much. I genuinely would rather watch any other video on. Wait, what? What's going on, Maddie? Why are you freaking out? I, I heard some footsteps and creepy noise, and I looked behind me, and no one was there. Wait, I'm you really mean like freaking out? You mean like just downstairs? Yes, just downstairs. What the heck? Uh, are you sure it wasn't Michelle or something? No, Michelle wasn't there. Can you go check it out for me, please? You're really freaking out, huh? Okay, Maddie, I hope this wasn't just the Mickey Mouse movie freaking you out. No, and you're just like pulling a prank on me or something. No, okay, Maddie, it's okay, it's okay. Take a seat. Go. I will go check this out. Alrighty. 
Let's see what the heck this girl is talking about. She said she heard creepy noises or something like that, but I don't really see anything. Hello? Is anybody down here? Hmm, hello? Hello? Nope. Nobody, hmm. I don't know what she might have heard or saw or whatever, but it seems like nobody is down here. The only other person that's home right now is Michelle, so I guess I will go and see if maybe if he left his room because that would be the only thing that makes sense. Okay, so hopefully he's awake and doesn't get upset for me bothering him. Hello, Michelle. I'm coming in. Michelle? Hey. Ira. Hey. Um, I just wanted to know if you were downstairs at all in like the last 10 minutes. Um, Maddie went downstairs to get a drink of water for the both of us and she said she heard some really creepy noises and stuff and nobody's there. And you're the only one home, so I'm assuming that it was you that was downstairs? I've been here for like, I don't know, watching YouTube videos. The entire time, the whole night, you haven't left your room? No, I've kind of just been chilling. Okay, damn. That just makes things a little bit more interesting, but okay. Hey. I was just asking, nothing's wrong, everything's good. Nothing, I'll nothing to see here. Keep an ear open. Keep an ear out and let me know if you hear any weird stuff. Yeah, I'll Hopefully like, you my don't. Headset, so I like, couldn't hear much, I don't know. Shoot. I'll, uh, Okay, well, I guess I guess that's a good thing then. Great. I will see you later. Okay. Continue doing whatever you're doing. Bye. <laughs> Alrighty, well, that was clearly a bust. Uh, I have no idea what she saw, what she thinks she heard or anything, but maybe she was just scared from watching that weird Mickey Mouse video. I don't know, but let's go tell her the news. Alright, hey, Maddie. So... Uh, I checked downstairs myself and I went and spoke with Michelle and he said that he wasn't downstairs at all. Really? So there was nothing there? Yeah, uh, so I don't really know what you saw or what you think you heard, but I checked and nothing's there, buddy. I, I swear I heard something and footsteps. Honestly, this house is pretty old, so maybe you heard some stuff, but nothing is down there, I can promise you. So. I know you're like super freaked out and stuff, but why don't we just play some video games tonight or something and nothing too scary, okay? Okay. Was that the doorbell? Uh, I think so. Um, uh, that is super, super, super weird. Okay, now I'm really freaking out. Okay, um, I'm gonna go check everything out. You just stay here and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, this is super creepy. I don't know who the hell would be at our door at 3 a.m., but oh my god. Okay, the door is wide open. What the actual hell? Hello? Is anybody here? What the heck? Okay, so Maddie's hearing noises. I come downstairs after checking it, and then the door's wide open for no reason. This doesn't make any sense. But, hmm, I don't, I honestly don't even know how to explain this. Hello? Is anybody here? Hello? Is anybody here? Okay. This is totally weird. I'm hearing noises and stuff. I need to go check up on my sister because this is definitely not normal. Maddie, are you okay? okay. Yeah, everything's fine. Hi. What the? Hey, hey, Madison. Maddie? 
Maddie? Oh my god. She's not in here. What do you what do you mean? What am I talking about? We were literally in here watching Disney Plus. I go downstairs just to check some stuff out because the doorbell rang all by itself. And then I come upstairs, the door slams right in my face. And now she's gone. Whoa, out the window, there's definitely no way. Maddie? Maddie, are you out there? I definitely Hello? don't think she would be on the roof, Michelle. Guys, I don't know what the heck is going on. All we wanted to do tonight was watch Disney Plus, and now my sister is missing. Okay. Frick, man. We're to maybe check out around the house. Maybe she like got out somehow. I don't know. Like, are you sure she was in here? Like, I'm a hundred percent positive, Michelle. I saw the door slam right in front of me by itself. Just look around. She's she's got to She's got to be here somewhere. Maddie, you check the bathroom. I'm gonna check over here, okay? Maddie. Maddie, are you in here? Guys, I don't see her anywhere. Madison, I'm gonna check the front door one more time because like, where else could she be? Maddie, Maddie. Oh my God, my mom's gonna literally kill me right now. Maddie, Michelle, did you see her upstairs? Oh my God, this is literally insane. Hold up, Michelle, the back door is open. I don't remember leaving it open. What the hell is going on? Guys, look. What the hell is going on? Maddie, are you out here? Oh my god, Michelle, she's what? right there. Take the camera. Maddie. Maddie, are you okay? Uh, help. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. She's what the hell? Come on, help, help me, me get, get her. Get on, sir. Get on. Come on, Maddie. Get up, get up. Let's go. You're freezing, kid. What the hell? What was she oh, doing out there? out there? Okay, tell me everything that happened. Oh, oh, oh my god, Michelle! What the hell? Oh, are you okay? Oh my god, she's literally fainted! Oh my god, I don't Sarah, what the hell? I what's don't know what's going on right now. We need to do something, maybe like call 911 or something? Wait, is she smiling? Is this some kind of joke? Maddie? What is going on guys, my name is Hi Mike and Shira has brought me along to help her out with her sister because she's been acting very, very strange lately and I specialize in paranormal investigations and anything demon related, ghost related, monster related, all that kind of stuff. I do that all on my channel. So I kind of have a lot of knowledge on this type of topic but for this one in particular, it is very strange because I haven't really come across anything like this. I've made a few connections in the past and I've met a doctor before who goes by the name of Dorian and he is known as a demonologist. I have his number in my phone. I'm ready to give him a call. Hopefully he answers because it is 2.45 in the morning. It's almost three when she's gonna start moving. So we want him to answer. We want him to help us out before things start to get real. So. Give him a call right now. Here we go, we're calling Dr. Dorian, and put him on speaker. Hopefully he answers. Hopefully he answers. Because other than that, I, I'm like out of ideas. Hey, uh, Dr. Dorian, uh, I have a little bit of a problem. I know I spoke with you a couple of weeks ago, um, but there is something I would like to talk to you about. Uh, my friend's sister is actually currently possessed by some kind of spirit or demon. I don't know what's going on, but her eyes have been turning black. She's been waking up at three in the morning doing some really weird stuff, and we really, really need your help. Could you please call me back? So yeah, I don't know. Uh, What's well, the message? Hopefully he calls back. This is like really, really bad concerning. This is like the only thing that we had and he didn't even answer. So like, what are we gonna do now? It's almost 3 a.m. She's gonna wake up. I have a suggestion. What? Okay, you know, we've all dealt with uh, possessions before. I think the best objective right now is going to be containment. We keep her here until we have a way to get rid of this demon. And the best way to do that is gonna be bringing in holy items into the room so she's kind of trapped and locked we in there. We have some like laying around the house, right? 
Surely we do. Definitely have some. Yeah, okay, Bibles, so. crosses, candles, everything. Holy water, I'm sure you name it, we have it. Okay, so I think we should all just go ahead and gather what we can, and then we'll just put it in my room, and then we will see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so we just finished putting all of the holy items into my room right now, and we are gonna wait till 3 a.m., which is when Maddie is most active, and we will see you guys then. definitely awake right now, but why was that so loud? I don't know. What was that? Okay, so it's past three. She's definitely on the move. We just need to get her chives room. That's it. Okay. It should totally, be easy, right? It's totally doable. There's three of us, one of her. Okay. I don't hear anything. Do we have like a plan or anything? We just go in and bag her and yeah, like grab her. She's a seven year old girl. We just need to grab her, put her in my room, and I'll be back. She did do a bang, so maybe, maybe she's, she's in the bathroom. Closet, bathroom. Maddie? She's not in here. Maybe she's in the washroom. Maddie? Her? I think so. Who else could have been? She closed the door. She slammed the door. How did she? Where what was, was she? Yeah, did she. You guys checked here, right? How did she even get? Where was she hiding this entire time? I don't know. We uh, figures she's out of the room. What do we do now? I don't know. She could be anywhere. Like we couldn't even find her in this room. Insane. Okay, we well, have to go up. We need to go right now. Maddie. Oh, Maddie. what the? She just wanted the bathroom. Okay, well, we know where she is, right? This is easy. We just go in and we grab her. Oh, wait, wait. Look, she's here. She's just here. I don't know. She just went into the laundry room, though. Okay, this isn't making any sense. Okay. How is she doing this? I don't know. I don't know anything right now. I don't even know what's going on. Are you sure she walked in here? Are you sure? I'm positive the camera saw her walk right in here. She's not in here, yeah. What okay. the hell is going She's on? She's like somehow moving across the house with what? Like what the hell no could be causing this? Okay. Did you see where she went? Yeah, she went into the laundry room. Well, I don't even know. She could be anywhere, guys. We need to get her in the room with all the holy, holy items, okay? Okay. Simple as that. Grab her. Do you hear her? We know she's in here, so... 
Okay, be careful, be careful, be careful, okay? So just... Carriage might run, okay? Okay, okay. Three of us and one of them. Maddie? There. There she is. Whoa! 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 Holy! Shara! Are you okay? Shara, are you okay? What was that? Get, get up, get up! Come on, Shara! Shara, get up! Get up! Get up! Wait, what the hell? No! Oh, what the hell? Are you okay? Dude, get up, get up! I can't, I can't! Oh no, she's here. Maddie? Michelle, be careful. She's strong. Ah. Okay. No, Michelle, just wait. Michelle. Oh. Guys? Guys? Oh my god. Nick, are you okay? Uh, no. Nick, uh, are you okay? No. Wake up. Michelle? Oh my god. Are you okay? Uh. What the heck happened? Uh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, she's she's knocked out. I don't know what happened. I got my butt knocked out. Michelle, are you okay? Wake up. Wake up, Michelle. Wake up. Oh, my God. Are you okay? What the hell is what that? The, I don't know. But clearly she is way more powerful than any of us expected. Here, give me this. Okay, I'm going to go get her upstairs because I don't want her to wake up again. Okay. But, no. I'm going to figure out what the hell just happened. How are we gonna How do, did that? You do that? I don't know. She's wicked strong, man. Oh, She's going across, across the room. I got security cameras, man. Security cameras? Yeah, it's a good idea. Oh. <coughs> I got the wind knocked out of me, man. Is she, is she in the room? Yeah. Well, I just got her in there. She's okay. that. What? Get Shara right now. Get Shara. her right now. Shara, come here, come here, come on. Okay, I'm looking over the security cameras. Yeah. yeah. I play the clip where Maddie pushes me across the room. Okay. At first it seems like it's just her pushing me. Yeah. But I play frame by frame. Promise me you won't scream. Well, you're freaking me the hell out right now, so can you just can you just show us please? Okay. So this is Maddie. Yeah. yeah. She's reaching for me. Wait, 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 one second, one second. Yeah. Okay. Next frame. Oh my god. The hell? You see this? Is that Look, and it happens again. She pushes me. Oh! And he's right there. He's right there. So she, she's literally being controlled by some spirit or demon. Oh my god. And what are we gonna do? Oh That's god. insane! That's literally. And she's like upstairs right now. So. No. From who? From the doctor. The other night with my sister was just absolutely insane. I am at a loss for words and I honestly don't even know what I truly just witnessed, but here we are. As you guys can see, it is not 3 a.m. right now. We are currently filming in broad daylight. And right now, you guys are probably wondering, well, what's going on with my sister? Where is she? How is she doing? And I'm gonna answer all of your questions. During the daytime, it seems like my sister acts completely normal and it's as if she doesn't even remember what happened the night before. So, because I need my sister back here so I can figure out how to handle this, I told my mom that she can hang out with Madison during the day today, reason why she is not here, but that it's imperative that she comes back tonight. So, my mom and Madison are out right now, but Madison will be back later. If I'm being quite honest, I feel like this is probably the most intense situation paranormal or not paranormal that I have ever been in, but I am glad that there is a chance that we might get some answers today. As you guys saw, this is not a situation that I or you guys or anybody should be taking lightly. This is not something that I can just brush under the rug or turn a blind eye to. This is something that I need to find answers for ASAP. Because right now, Madison, as you guys saw, is insanely, insanely strong and 
I don't know what's going on or what could happen, but I definitely do not want to be in a situation where she is way too strong to handle and last time I checked, we might already be there. On the bright side, even though Dr. Dorian didn't get back to us in time before Maddie attacked us, I am happy that he gave us another resource to use. Yeah, so the situation is, seems very urgent. Um, I am out of town right now, uh, so I do recommend you get in contact with uh, my contact. His name is Curtis. He's a medium. Uh, he's really knowledgeable with this paranormal activity stuff. He can help you guys uh, while I'm not there, and then I'd be able to meet up with you uh, possibly after. Okay. I mean, that's some kind of good news, right? Yeah. So this medium, he's gonna what? give us like some kind of what? He, yeah, he can definitely help you, um, give you some information and uh, um, just figure out what's happening because it seems like a pretty serious situation. Dr. Dorian recommended a medium that he has worked with in the past to help us with the situation since he is currently out of town and unable to reach us right now. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and call the medium that Dr. Dorian recommended to us on FaceTime so we can finally get some answers. Hey Shara, I'm medium Curtis, how are you? Hi, I am, I wanna say I'm good, but truly being honest, I'm not doing so well right now. Um, what's, what's going on? So, as you know, I'm sure by right now, um, Dr. Dorian recommended you because I have a situation with my sister and I honestly yeah. just like don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. um, so it all started when we were watching Disney Plus at 3 a.m., just the two of us because she wanted to be part of a 3 a.m. challenge with me. And I see you. of course, at the beginning, I assumed that some paranormal stuff would happen um, because I know that during the Devil's Hour, everything right. starts to get weird and paranormal activity is at its highest. So I was mm -hmm. expecting a little, a little something, but I wasn't expecting the aftermath that has happened, happened to my sister. What happened, Charlie? What happened? Okay, so we watched this video and it was automatically off the bat super, super weird. And mm -hmm. we thought it was a Mickey Mouse movie because it was on Disney Plus. Therefore, I thought it was Disney Plus appropriate, but I was yeah. wrong. We started the movie, which was actually a short video where mm -hmm. we saw what you would think would be a version of Mickey Mouse, but it wasn't him it was just some scary creepier version where the miss this mickey Whoa. mouse was saying weird things like he was gonna kill like people and Whoa, hurt people gosh. and it just like wasn't right and that's not even the weirdest part ever mm -hmm. since we watched that video what's her what's her behavior like since then everything has just changed she's been okay. acting stranger and stranger as time goes on and mm. what she's been doing is putting herself in danger to the point where I felt most comfortable having security cameras up around the house so I knew where she was at all times because it's just like not like her and all of this was happening at the devil's hour so you said security do you have any of this footage do you yes, have something that shows actually, her behavior honestly you're Please, not gonna could you forward that stuff. to me as soon as possible okay this yes, is I'll very intriguing you right now um with the email that dr dorian sent me i'm looking at the video right now and yes this is very concerning Sharon. on normal speed everything is fine but as soon as you oh, start going frame by I, yes frame, i saw that you can yeah. see that something frame by right frame, behind yeah. her okay um so um have you ever heard of the mickey mouse demon Shara? uh no i i don't think i have Okay, so let's just be Mickey very Mouse careful demon? for these. There is so, such a thing? this is the Mickey Mouse demon. It's and he's known all, also under the name as Suicidal Mickey. Suicidal. He's very dangerous, very dangerous. You have to listen to me very carefully, Shara. Okay. This is something that needs to be done very fast. Okay, okay. So what do I do? Just what do I do? Go through my manual. So first, wait. Page 85. Because you can already three. tell from the footage, she is insanely strong. She literally I, I saw flew that. everybody a across little the girl. room. A seven-year-old yeah. girl flew three adults across the room like it was nothing. Crazy. But as soon as it hit 4 a.m., she just fainted. 
So and it's you, obvious that he's or this thing. And I noticed on the footage, it was it was two thirty when this was when this started. Yeah, it was around two thirty, two forty-five. It wasn't even three a.m. That is very weird because it peak time for paranormal activity is three a.m. Yeah, that's what you would uh, think. Okay, okay so, so what Shara, do I do? what do I do? So uh, you have to get Madison in a secure room. You have okay. to ASAP. Okay. You already did that. That was very good. Okay. The steps you missed out on is that you need holy items in the room and you guys have to be holding holy items on the other side as okay, well. Okay, so holy items that will keep her in the room and then exactly. holy items outside of the room. Okay, exactly. What else do I do now, the last step, very important step, and you have to say this for me. There's a passage that I'm going to send you, Shira. Okay. And listen very carefully. You have to do this as soon as possible. This passage, I'm about to send it to you. I have it right here. Did you receive it? Yes, I got it. Okay, perfect. So this passage said very firmly. So again, I repeat, whole secure room, holy items in the room and outside the room. Okay. And this passage said very firmly, you have to do this as soon as possible because the spirit will only get bigger and take over her body, Shara. Take okay. over her body. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So keep her in a holy room that will contain the spirit or demon or whatever. Mm -hmm. Have holy items outside of the room and say yes. this passage firmly. Yes. And that yes, will, right. and this will what? Get rid of the demon? It'll get rid of the demon, it'll calm the down the demon down and she'll be back to herself. Okay. Yes. Oh my god, sorry, this is a lot to just absorb right now, but I know. Okay, thank you so 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 much. I'm gonna go to my mice right away. Thank you for reaching out. I'm gonna out. make sure that as soon as my sister gets home from being out with my mom that before 2.30, I will have her Perfect. in this room. Thank you so much for answering my call. You're welcome. Anytime, Shara. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Okay, bye. All right, so as you guys can see, it's 2.30, and we're all setting up before it hits 3 a.m., so everything is ready, because at 3 is when Madison is the most active. So we need to make sure everything is set up, so when she wakes up, we are ready to deal with her. So as the median said, there's supposed to be holy items in the room and outside of the room. So we set up the room earlier, but we also have these right here. We obviously have a cross and we have the holy water here that I got from an adventure that I had a long, long time ago that I still had left over. So hopefully this will be enough to splash on the door and stuff while we are doing this chant and get her back to normal. And the last step is to banish the spirit by saying the passage that the medium gave me, which I will be doing. And I wanna say hopefully this will go well, but as you guys saw in the last video, Madison is just not herself and she is just extremely strong. And so my fingers are crossed that everything in the end goes back to normal and I get my sister back. You guys have done this before, so do you guys think that this is gonna work? Like, what am I getting myself into right now? Well, we do have the holy items, they are in the room and we did get the advice from the median. And I feel like he knows a lot more than we all do. That's true. And the demonologist did recommend him. So obviously like, this is our best bet, right? Yeah, like we have the crucifix, the holy water, like we should have everything that we need for it's, this to work. Honestly, it's super unfortunate that Dr. Damien couldn't come today because I feel like him or the medium would have been way better to do this, but this is, this is our last chance and I think you guys hear that? Yeah. That, wait, it's, it's way too, too early. early. Yeah, it's, it's way too early for this. What the hell is going on? It's now or never, guys. Okay. I have the passage on my phone. Okay, is... all right, let's do this. Ready? Okay, are you guys ready for this? Yeah. yeah. Can you see Is that you? Please let me out, Shia. I promise I'll be good. I won't hurt anybody, I swear. No, Maddie, I can't right now. This isn't you, okay? Everything's gonna be back to normal in a second. Ben, relax. It's so weird. Do you want to die today? Yeah, right. okay. In the name of the Lord, we ask you to remove all evil from my sister's presence. We drive you from us, whoever you may be. Unclean spirits, all satanic powers, all infernal invaders, all wicked may be snatched away. Oh what the hell is happening? Oh, and driven from the Swiss soul, made to the image and likeness of God, and redeemed by the precious blood of the demonic lamb, I banish you! Wait. Oh, what? 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 
the hell was that? Shh. That was not my sister, guys. Did, did, did it stop? Oh my god. We, we have to check. Okay. There's only one way to find out. I'm literally shaking right now. Right. Okay. Ready? Oh my god. What happened? Look at the room. Is she okay? Are you okay? Yes, it's over yet. Oh my god. You see this? Dude, Michelle, Michelle, look, look at this. What the hell? That, that was. That was. I'm just sweating right now. Shire, look. It moved. Get the thing down right now. That's really, really bad. Holy hell. Okay. After all that craziness with Maddie, we did end up bringing her to the hospital to get her checked out and it seemed like she was okay. And from what the doctors have told us, she is perfectly fine now. Nothing weird or abnormal is going on. She's back home and she's okay. At first, we didn't know what was going on. Shara was acting really weird and the more days passed, the more she started acting strange. After realizing Shara was acting really strange, me and Nick noticed that she didn't take down any of the security cameras from her room. So we thought it'd be a good idea to check those out and see if Shara was actually acting weird between the hours of 2.30 and 4 a.m. And she was. And this is because at three in the morning, everything that is paranormal is mostly active at that hour. So if we were gonna find anything, it would have been between that time. Now we thought that all of this was over until the incident happened. What are you, Shara? What are you doing, Shara? What what the hell's going on? Oh my God, Shara! No no no! Stop stop stop! And as much as we wanted this all to be over, Shara needs our help right now more than ever. All right, guys. So we are about to head to the church to meet up with Dr. Dorian. He has his day off today, so this is like the only time we get mm -hmm. to talk to him. And he's gonna try to tell us everything that is currently wrong with Shara. She's been acting really really weird, and hopefully he has some answers for us. So, you ready to go? I'm all set, man. Let's just, uh, hopefully he has something to tell us. Yeah, let's go. All right, guys, so we made it to the church over here. Uh, Dr. Dorian said he was about to meet us. Uh, we are on time. We're just waiting for him to come outside. You've seen him before, right? Like, it's I, not gonna be I a- I haven't, no. Haven't, just, I've like, never, messages? Yeah, just text messages, phone calls. That's all I've done with him. And he seems to know his stuff, so hopefully, if he comes, he'll be able to help us with Shira, because yeah. um, it's it's not looking good right now. And this is the church, right? Look at this. There's like a huge yeah, for sure thing uh, there. So someone just walked out. I don't know if that's him. Oh, hey, Dorian? Yes, Doctor Dorian, actually. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, this nice is to Nick. meet you. Uh, How are you? Good. So, uh, how's everything going? You can go walk over here just a bit. Um, so, we have quite a problem, as you heard on the phone. Uh, we had this demon type problem with uh, Shira's little sister, mm. and we we did the exorcism. Yeah. Uh, we said the chant, and we thought we got rid of it, but now Shira is acting really weird, and I don't know what what to do with that. So um, what exactly is happening with Shira? Well, she's starting to hurt herself. And that was something that Maddie was doing when she was uh, being taken over. And hurting I don't want to say that we banished it and it like moved on to her, but... Is she doing things like banging our head against the wall? Yes, actually. Uh, there was a, a time where I saw her physically hitting her head where there was like blood gushing from her forehead and I tried to stop her but it that's was just not, like that's not good from the sounds of things you guys have to get this done very quickly now what did you do before um, so we did do an exorcism on Maddie and it worked Maddie is okay right Maddie yeah is perfectly normal she hasn't been having this like weird thing she's not trying to harm herself anymore right and how um, did you do the exorcism last time we did it through like the door so we didn't see her face to face there was a that's why you can't do it straight through the door like that the demon's just going to go crazy around and then go into the host that's doing the passage you have to be face to face you have to throw the holy water directly on her 
So, what so I'm because hearing, she said the passage, the demon moved to her instead? Yes, because you weren't face to face. So what oh, I'm hearing oh. is Shira's the one that doesn't have a lot of time. So you might want to do another exorcism. Do a whole other exorcism. Make sure you chain her down. Make sure you have your holy water, you have crosses. Okay. Well, okay, well. we should probably head there now because she is by herself at home. So Yeah, and it's the sun's going to start setting soon, so we definitely don't want to have to deal with this. Okay. So what are you doing? Go. Okay. She doesn't have much Thank time. You. Okay. Thank, you, Thank so you so much for so your much. help. We, I'll call you and keep you updated. Alright, so it's clearly dark. Let's uh, hope that she's not like doing anything weird, right? Why would all the lights be off though? Um, I don't know. Is anybody here? Shara? Shira? Hello? What the hell is going on? It's like right above us. Yeah, that's somewhere upstairs. Shara, are you in here? Oh, shh. What the hell is going on up there? The lights aren't working. What do you mean the lights aren't working? I don't know. None of them are working. Just us. Come into your room, okay? Where the hell is she? Everything okay? Shara? Shira? She's... Oh. What the hell was that? Oh. Okay, I don't like this dude, okay? Let's go back downstairs and grab weapons, dude. Like, I, I don't want to have to deal with Shira, okay? Okay, um, there should be like bats like near the laundry room. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Okay, did you see her out there? What was that sound? I don't know, but I don't want to find out while we're unarmed, okay? We're just trying to be quiet now. Okay, we don't want her here. Okay, there should be some weapons right in front of the laundry room. Shira? Shira? Shira. Shira, are you okay? <laughs> what the hell? Whoa! What is that? Oh, dude, dude she's, not, she's not okay. What the hell happened? I don't know. Whoa! Wait, what? She was just here, right? Where'd she go? Something really weird is happening, and I don't know what's going on, but Shira is. Wait. Is that her? Book? What the hell? Ah! Oh, oh, dude, are you okay? Oh, no. Go, we need to go, we need to go. What the hell is that? Dude, shh, shh. Get inside, get inside, get inside. What the hell was that? How did she get behind me like that? I don't know, dude. She's quick and she's strong, just like before. Okay, this is probably much worse than Maddie. Yeah, now that she's an adult. We need to figure out a way to get out of this house. Okay, um, dude, I say we. Uh, yeah, the, the window's gotta be like... 
Oh, There's no way too high. high. Yeah, it's way too high. Dude, the only way out is through the front door. So what do we, do we try to run for it? Okay. Well, I mean, we just saw her. She was like in the corner crying, right? She like freaked out when we interacted with her, right? Okay, so maybe we check to see if the coast is clear. And if it's clear, we'll just freaking run, okay? Okay, we're just gonna check to see if the coast is clear. Oh, did you see that? No, I didn't. Dude, what? She was legit climbing on the freaking walls. No. Do you hear anything? Okay, we have to get out of here. Are you serious? You just saw her crawling on the walls. Listen, okay, I think she might have went into like my room or something. If we could just sneak by and just get to the front door. I don't want to be locked in this house anymore, okay? Okay. You ready? I bet. She goes anywhere near us. Shira, what the Nick, what the no, 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 Please, Sharon, it's not you, okay? It's not you, there's something inside you. It's not you though, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sharon, Sharon, listen. Okay, there's something wrong with you? Well, well we can fix you, okay? What's going on? I don't know, but whatever was in Madison is in you now. Oh. Oh. Michelle? Nick, what the hell is going on? Dude, there's Wait. something is, is like clearly wrong with Sharon. She's possessed or something. Yeah, Michelle, dude, wake up, wake get up, Michelle up. What do we do? We gotta deal with her. Michelle, wake up. Michelle. What the hell's going on? Okay. Look at oh, she, 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 we she's, out. She's, she's, out. she's knocked out, dude. What are we gonna do? Uh, she's, she's clearly got problems. She's possessed by something. Possessed? We need, we need to get her in a chair, tie her up before she wakes up. Okay, okay uh, Mike, find out. some like uh, some rope or something, okay? okay. Uh, let's, let's try and drag her. Get her up. Go to your side. Take out something. You guys got uh, her? Yeah, we're gonna just drag her. This. Okay, this chair. Get her over here. This bring her here. Bring her here. Get into the chair. Okay, let's get her down. Okay. Um, do we have like any kind of rope? Yeah, yeah. I found this like cord. We can tie her hands with this. A cord? Is that yeah, all you could find? Bro, yeah. In the such a short notice. Okay. Get her tied up. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't know how to explain this. Um, Mike. Yeah. There's some kind of like Mickey demon possessing her. Uh, she, I don't know if she's like knocked out. We gotta like find some way to like exercise her, like get this demon out of her body before it gets any worse. She's getting stronger. How are we gonna do that? Like we're not equipped to do this, yeah, right? We did it to her sister. We could probably do it to her. We need we need to do it like right now as soon as possible. We need crosses, holy water, anything we can find around the house. We need to get this demon out of her before it, it takes full control. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea where we could get? Like, I, we might have holy water upstairs, like in my room, maybe. I don't know. But uh, I got crosses. I got crosses. You got a crosses? Is it holy water? Okay. Okay. Um, Bible? Do you have any kind of book? Any uh, kind of I holy used book? to. I used to have a Bible, but I don't know if I. I is still this, have it. Is this gonna work? Like all this random stuff? I'm not exactly sure if any of this is gonna work, but the priest did say this is what we need to do. So if we're going off a professional, it should at least help. So, are you? Yeah. Let's let's go, let's, let's, go. let's go grab it. Let's go. All right guys, as you can see, it is currently 3.32 in the morning. It is currently the devil's hour and we are ready to do an exorcism on Shira. I got the cross here. Mike has the holy water um, and we didn't have a Bible. I don't know where the heck it went, but it's gone. So all we have is this and I have the chant that the priest has given us that we used last time on Shira's sister. It worked once and hopefully this is gonna work one more time. What do you guys think? Is this gonna work without a Bible? Did you have a Bible last time? I, I feel like the Bible is just so that you have 
the lines, mm. right? Like, I don't know if it's... You think so? I have I like no the idea. the power of Christ is within the Bible, but there's definitely... Well, we have like the, the, holy the holy water and the cross, sure. but I definitely think we should wake her up first. Still. Shara? Oh, that's odd timing. Shara? Shara? Are you... How are you, how are you feeling? What are um, you doing? Okay, Shara. Just listen. Why understand. Why am I right now? You are Michelle? in a bad position. Right there, I don't yes. know how to say this, but there is a demon. You're possessed, Shira, okay? You you're possessed. possessed. You're a danger to not only I, us, no. but yourself. We have to tie you up into I'm, our dumb exorcism. I'm talking to you right now. I am talking to you right now. I'm not possessed. Get me out of the chair. Get me out Shara, of the chair. we've seen you do things Get that no other chair, human though. could do. You are clearly I'm yeah. taking over by something. You, I'm telling you, I'm fine. Well, look at this your, is, this what do you mean you're me, fine? Look at your, me your really eyes, like right you're, they're dark and Guys, you're let pale. Me out. Let me out. Please, nope, please, we're not letting please, you out. We have to finish this exorcism, this, okay? We're just gonna perform an exorcism. You're hurting we're, me right now. I am this very sorry, hurting. but it's gonna hurt a lot more once this gets started. Are you sure she's like actually possessed? Please stop! Yes, we're sure. Okay. Michael, Michael, let me out. Look what they're doing. Look what they're doing, Mike. We can't let you out. We can't let you out. Okay, just go with it, Shara. I said, let me out. We're gonna have to do this right now before it gets any worse. Okay. Okay. You guys ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Let me out now! Whoa. Whoa. Let me out right now or I'll kill you! Oh. Let me out! 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 How are we gonna do? We, we, we need to start, start right now. We need to start it, okay? okay? In the name of the Lord, yes. Those of us, you guys are in the name of the Lord. You guys are nuts! Are you good? Yeah. It's like the cameras. Is it good? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Shira, okay. Shira? Hey. Shira. Do you think it worked? I don't know. I mean, Shira? that was pretty dramatic, right? Shira? Where the hell's Mike? Um, you... Wait. Is that... In the middle of the floor? Maybe he ran off or something? Like... That was crazy. I didn't yeah, know if he was here. He, when things started shaking, he probably just ran away or something, right? Yeah. Mike? <laughs> She's up. Shara, are you okay? What the hell happened? Are you, are you okay? good? <coughs> I need some water or something. Uh, I, I gotta... Yeah, get some, get some. Shara, are you, is, did, did it work? Are you, are you okay? I think so. You think so? I mean, let me so weak. hold up. Let me see your eyes. Her eyes not back normal. Yeah, and she doesn't have bags under them either anymore. Died up, Michelle. Well, I don't know if she's still the demon. Like we don't know. No, keep her, keep her tied. Just, just feed her the water, though. I don't. I just want to make sure we're a hundred percent safe. Okay, Shara, we're gonna, we're gonna let you here. <coughs> we gotta go find Michael. Mike, 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 come back. Where do you think he is? Uh, like he should be. Sense him. What? He's in the house. What do you mean you sense Mike's in the it? house? I don't. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's like I'm still connected to Mickey. I can see Mike. Are you saying you're not? He's not inside of you right now? No. What? No, but I'm just. I'm still connected to him somehow. I, I can't explain it. But all I know right now is that I can sense Michael, and he's in a dark place. It's. It's just dark and cold. Dark and. Cold, dark, and, dark and cold, and he's very scared. The basement? Maybe the basement? Like that has to be the only any, only place, right? We're going off what? She's just feeling this, like. I mean, we had to try. If he's not there, we just searched. He has to be inside the house he's, somewhere. She's but tied be up. Careful, Mickey's still here. What? And he's angry. She's still tied up. So in case this is just a trick, just keep her here. Okay, so let's go to the basement. Let's see if she's telling the truth. Okay. Michael? Mike? You down there? Okay. Mike? 
Mike, dude, answer. Okay, we're going in. Mike? Oh! Look, he's there. What the hell's wrong with him? I don't know. Mike? Mike, are you okay? Are you good? It's okay, it's okay. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. What do you mean there's something here? There's something here. How the hell did you get down here? It took me. What is he talking about? What took you? What took you? Jesus Christ. I am. What? Mick. Holy shit. What the hell are you doing here? It's freaking Mickey. Hey. No. Go away, okay? We don't want you here anymore. Leave. You're not welcome here. You're not welcome to touch us. You're not welcome to do anything. Okay, let me. Let's okay, just Mike. get Mike. Get Mike up, Mike. Come on, get come on. We gotta get out of here. Okay, let's go. Don't follow us. Get out of our house. Go, go, go. Okay, go up the stairs. Go up the stairs. Go, 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 go. Good. Okay, okay, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Where is she? Okay, we can untie her, right? Mickey, Mickey's out of her, so. Okay, help her out, help her out. Okay. We are getting the hell out of here, okay? I don't know where he is. It's okay. Let's get rid of the car. Okay. Okay. Be careful, be careful. Oh, so heavy. Go, 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 get her in, get her in. Are you good? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you get it. Okay. Oh. Come on, come on. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, everybody's okay? Yeah. You good, Shara? Mike? Yeah, yeah. Okay, get us the heck out of here, okay? Go, go quick. Wait, what? Why are you stopping? What? Look. What the hell? Oh see? my god, dude! It's Mickey! It's all shoes! Why is he? Dude, we, we need to get out. the hell out of here! We need to go out. Oh my god! Okay, drive, drive, drive! Jesus. He's gonna watch this whole world burn.